right. <clears throat> We're back. Okay. And there's a debate. So here's the deal. The the bus, the lounge is open. If you're not uh, if you're not interested in a you know, four twenty <coughs> friendly up church morning, then uh, catch us on the next one. Honey Bunny, how you doing? Hi. Hi <laughs> that is the that is what I was getting at. I don't know what's what are they food does it pop is. open? Does it, did you wait for them to kick in uh, so did you enjoy the show so far? What you've seen? Yeah, I like this. I like that. Well, I'm gonna get let's that catch one. a song. No, did you see that? I did. I did. That's horrible. Well, is there really a lot of sugar on there? I don't know why they put so much sugar. Because they're trying wow. to kill us. Yes, the sugar's bad. Guys, don't eat sugar gummies before bed. Yeah. Uh, all these people are eating those like quote unquote vitamins before bed, nighttime gummies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm like, it, yeah. it's just, so what it does is it spikes your insulin right before bed. It's the worst two thing you could do. Don't listen. Sugar-free Flintstones chewables. Something, but no. <coughs> this, an exception would be like, you know, your drinking nights and partying nights. Huckleberry and, CBD and gummies. Huckleberry CBD gummy nights. Yes. Yeah. <coughs> mm-hmm. Well... Did you hear what happened? They accidentally legalized gummies in the state next to us. They did. It's hilarious. They thought they were. Uh, they made a. They made an error in judgment. It appears. Now I have to double check and make sure that wasn't like misprinted. But I it wasn't. Sounded, yeah. I read it again. Oh, that's fantastic! Don't you like when they? they so did you? Hear, I didn't tell you the line was. <laughs> they all ran out. The whole state's out. Of course. Because they. By Friday, after. Afternoon or wow. Evening, like the same day. That's insane. <laughs> the lines were around the block. Well, that's. <laughs> I think it's funny. I think. All right. I think they can't stop that, even as much as they want to demonize it. The thing is, is. I can't believe the demand is just completely people. Well, it's the misunderstanding. Gummy, they like take the whatever edibles or is that's what it well, was all edibles, right? Not yeah. Just gummies. Yeah, edibles. Yeah, that's. I bet crazy. there are people at stockpiles just waiting to go and just cleared them out. I don't know. They interviewed a bunch of the stores and they were all like, "Yep, we were done." Hi, this episode of Rolling Green and Angie Talks uh, is is brought to you by Normal National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana Laws. I'm kidding. I I was uh, I, I was into that way back in the day, but I I'm not uh, here. They were indifferent. This I'm, is actually because uh, it appears that this is a very pro smoking concert. Pro twenty concert. You missed the part at the beginning where he was like, going, "Wow, I know, Skia, you got there right there." That's good smell. And he's smelling in the air. So, I mean, it's... If anybody's been watching all of them, it's, it's not like pretend. I mean... Oh, my the, gosh. That's hilarious. Now, now if he says, is that blueberry gum? No. Yeah, no. He probably won't be very specific. But, uh, yes. I swear he was in a song. He has been Oh, he has very before. much so. Yeah, he's yeah. talked about having Girl Scout cookies in the council. Oh, is that what it was? I know. If I it, it see if I'm right on that, but I'm yeah, almost no, that sounds pretty about sure right. that's, I so, think he's referenced that and maybe a couple other strands. It's appropriate. Strands. These people are probably smoking, drinking, and Well, I think he has his own. Doesn't he have his own, does gummies. he have his own strain his own yet? Gummies? I don't know. Maybe not. Oh he writes. He did so many chicken. songs. Why doesn't he have his own Chicken he, Willie brand? He needs some chicken, chicken Willie strain. Chicken gummies. Chicken little chicken gummies. <laughs> That's oh, ah. Uh, if that takes off, sir, and you have the, you like make little little chicken chicken THC gummies someplace. <laughs> just, can you remember her? <laughs> I, I, she doesn't know what she's saying right now. But this is a pretty good idea. Now. Most normal folks be like, what the hell are these people talking about? But that, the chicken gummies are pretty, that's, that's a solid idea. Up church <laughs> chewable chicken gummies. That is, I, seems like that half the work is done there. I'm, oh, oh, I'm so man. just kidding. I'm oh, this is I love fun. you, baby. Okay. We are prepared the for the show. show? Yep. Mm-hmm. Take care. Let's check it out. Where my rednecks at? Give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah, I guess. 
Where my creek squad at? Give me a hell yeah! <laughs> Fucking right, dude. <laughs> Fuck. Man, hey, I ain't gonna lie. Tell me if y'all feel the same way. I feel like next to red is like, it's almost like a holler boys. Do y'all feel that? <laughs> I feel that too, man. I really do, man. I, you know, especially in a time we live in right now where everybody's saying sorry, bro. Like, what the fuck, dude? America, dude, we, we used to not be the I'm sorry people. You feel me? We used to be the fuck you go back home people, man. You know? This is our motherfucking place. And the crazy thing is, bro, is when I made Next to Red, I had so many people that didn't look like me, didn't live the same kind of lifestyle I live or anything, hit me up and be like, dude, I resonate with that shit. And you know why? Because that song is for rednecks, bro. Black, white, Spanish, whatever. Uh, I don't want to do this, but they don't watch these videos. I bet uh, those Dutch farmers could relate to this, this crowd. Yeah, so there would probably be more people in this crowd that would side with those farmers over there than, than the people that want you to eat bugs. Because them Dutch farmers... Just to be fair. No, them Dutch farmers, you know, they, it's, it's I, I saw them. I saw a tack tractor, and I heard they bought a tank. Mm. So if that's even close to true, I'm pulling for the farmers. Mm. I live in farm country. If I had a big tractor... I'd help put it to use. I I'm just it saying. Out now. I remember though saying, "How are we gonna get a tank? What do we need one? If we need one, well, now I know." Now nah, remember we'd be driving through town. He's like, "Why does all these towns have a tank?" I'm like, "Well, you know, this is rather better to have a tank and not, not need it than not to have a tank and then not have it." it. You, know, what, you right. know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. It's that whole thing. <laughs> it's, it's, there's this moment when you go, "Why do I need that?" and the opposing troops are marching over the hill at the next county line. And you're like, oh, that was the reason. Yeah. I'm not sure I want to live on bug paste. Good. If you live around oh. here. I mean, they did send a signal to that group. I, I was hinting about it, but I mean, they did blow up their shit at 3.33 in the morning, I guess. So if that ain't a big middle finger, because they had to knock down the Georgia Guidestones the whole way, because it's unsafe. No, that's now. Let's if you look, you can tell me if I'm wrong. But I heard on the the closed circuit TV, it looked like it took place. I, I saw someone post this. So I mean, I'm not saying it's fact. All this shit's for entertainment. But they they did blow it up last night. It appears at 3:33 in the morning, which if you just you know, but then I think they already caught it. Or they know who it is. Of course. They're going to do cell phone tracking and get that no. data right that, away. The only place that doesn't work is with ballot harvesting. Wow, interesting. Hey, you hey, know what? What? Well, they could have used like a, a, a phone that you can throw or those burner phones. A burner whatever phones. Whatever they call them. Gosh, this one's getting good. I can't. I hope it's not Patreon only. Oh, man. We're good so far. Because all this shit really just has happened, so if I'm not nice, making up nothing. you put a timestamp, but... I am not nice. I, know. Yeah. I think nice. it's the journey that counts, right? It's it's not the destination. It's the trip. <laughs> Here, you know, back in the day, all the rednecks lived in West Nashville, bruh. They all had big ass white t shirts. They had 615 on their neck and some Air Force Ones. They also lived in Cheatham County, wore overalls, and would shoot at you if you went into their house past 10 o'clock. A redneck is not what it's made to be on TikTok. A, a country boy. It's not what's made to be look like on the internet, bro. A country boy, you know a country boy when you see a motherfucking country boy. And every type of country boy from the South Side, Dixieland, repping ass motherfucking side of the United States <coughs> comes to these shows, and that's why I wrote Neck Too Red, bro. That's why. It's for our kind of people, man. Country folks. With that being said, Y'all have created a animal, bro. I, <laughs> I just want to bite people for y'all until I ain't got no more teeth. You feel me? Every time they, they, every time a teacher looks at a fucking kid in a class who's wearing the same boots from last year and not giving him any attention, that's the fucking kid I want to touch, bro. The adult who's about 40, 50 years old 
who dropped out of high school and, and you think that you're not as good as somebody who went to fucking college. Fuck that. College can't teach you this shit right here, fam. <laughs> they know class for this shit. You gotta just jump in and be the truth, bro. And if you ain't the truth, motherfuckers will find out if you ain't the truth. Especially if it's some country boys watching. Holy you. shit, that's weird. Now we didn't we didn't look ahead. No. So uh if you were offended in the first couple minutes, right? Because it's a smoke fast and this and that. Oh yeah. Uh this is ten, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting that I smoked a lot. Well, <laughs> I believe the cosign on why we're having this reaction is because we're, we're at this point. You are who you are. <laughs> don't be ashamed of that shit. You don't got to apologize. Now, I'm on the side that I, I'm pro-weed and do no harm. Now, if you're against weed, that's fine. I get it. You can be against it. it it's just like his conversation right now. You can think you know every aspect of what his flag there represents or right, this conversation right. is but if you don't follow what he's really saying and like I said that's why I'm referencing the Dutch farmers right. because if you don't think this attitude and that attitude are the same yeah. fucking attitude mm-hmm. you are s- mistaken very mistaken I mean no disrespect and I don't mean you 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 or you right. I mean as a core principle that is the so farming's the same from the person feeding the rice paddy to that Dutch farmer to, to this one up here putting in their corn yeah. and spreading some manure last week and the whole town smelled like ass. <laughs> you know what? That's life. It's beautiful. <laughs> That's right. What's wrong with the whole town? Smells like ass. It's a, it's a beautiful thing, baby. It's gross. <laughs> Just say it. What's wrong with that? It's fun. Don't do that. Sorry, but I stink. <laughs> it, <laughs> it, stink. it was so bad. Yeah, it's just bad smells. He's like, you know, you know what's going on. You're like, oh. So now over there, they I saw that. Yeah. I'm just saying. It was. It was okay. Horrible, yeah. <laughs> this is the attitude that would stand. But that's everywhere in every small town, farming town, in every, in all across the whole world. And then it resonates to the inner city, the outer city the suburb, and other places where people have attitudes about hard work, determination, family, respect, yeah. a lot of shit. So if, if, if it's a handful of symbols and catchphrases that yeah. that holds you up, well, my, 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 my suggestion is smoke one and relax because the core belief is the same people that want to keep feeding you take care of you and actually go and bust their ass from sun up to sun down so other people can be sustained too that's i'd say that's a giving cause i i fuck it i love the farmers i, I love the rednecks i love the country people i love the people who work the earth for a living well and the thing is is that that's the thing is that the flag you know it doesn't mean what it I means don't think to hard work. It means being proud. The, you grew up with. They grew up with it, right? Yeah. So it's no different than somebody who lived in an, in anywhere else growing up with. Yeah. You know what I mean. I, I think the point, and then I think one of the things it gets co-opted by groups. Yeah. And used to right. propagate ideas. Yeah. Yep. But and if you look at what what's really being said, things. well, I can't I can't let a couple symbols be what represents their existence bullshit mm-hmm. i have to take men at their word mm-hmm. and the word is always good mm-hmm. let's get back to it uh, yeah they know if you lying yeah, and it just makes me want to be an animal which is why i wrote this next song man chew them up jello what did you say it was hit that chicken noise boy
because uh, I'm curious. So I don't actually know the name of the song at all, but I'd like to know he which said song. It. it was I, red. No, next no, to red was the one it before. Was, um, he says it right in the beginning. Go back. We're at he said, get 40, the chicken get, sound. Get the chicken sound. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was the name of the song. No. I don't think so. He He's was like, saying. No, that's why I wrote. It was after okay. he. But I thought he said that's why he wrote this song. They go have to wait. Talk for a bunch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Next time. Up and be like, dude. <clears throat> I just want to bite people okay. for y'all until I ain't got no more teeth. You feel me? Every time they, they, every time a teacher looks at a fucking kid in a class who's wearing the same right. boots from last year, the, and you think that you're not as good. They know class for this shit. You okay. gotta just jump in and be the truth, bro. And if you ain't the truth, motherfuckers will find out if you ain't the truth. Especially if it's some country boys watching you. <laughs> they know okay. if you lying. Now he's talking about it. Yeah, okay. And it just makes me want to be an animal, which is why I wrote this next song, man. Is, is it called an animal? No. no. See what I'm saying? I thought I he don't... said the name of it. No, and then he said, get the chicken sound. sound. Get that chicken noise, bro. And then I thought, I started, because all there's, I'm trying to think, because... So I've talked about this for a long time. Eggs, well, hey, I'm baked. <laughs> but then the basket of rhetoric. Now he talks about chicken, the farm, and feeding people the pigs. A couple, a couple different farm motifs. So at first, when he starts talking about that shit, I was like, oh yeah, I heard this, I know this. But then I'm thinking, I, I don't yes, know this song or not. Yeah, I've heard him talk about chickens. <laughs> <laughs> Just because we're gonna get through this one song animal. is what we're gonna get. We're gonna I, we're gonna see if he's gonna. I think animal. Animal inside. Well, uh, we're gonna try animal. Yeah, we're gonna try that first. Does it? Yeah. 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 All right. I don't have. We don't have this album. That's why. But I think I have because heard this, this song. Because it was out. The only reason we don't have it is because it was out. Oh, well, that's good. Just in case it ever comes up. Because um, ignorance is not bliss. It could be back now, but at the time it got sold out, it was oh. not available. Oh, we, we tried. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Now we know what it is. I, you know, it took me a minute, and it's, it's a badass. This is a badass tune. Oh, I'm having fun.
sorry about your hair, fam. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I seen somebody over here, her boyfriend was already picking the feathers out, bro. Uh, <laughs> That's like a whole fucking 20,000 baby chickens just exploded, fam. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, 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 <laughs> that looks so cool. It's like snow. Hey, man. Y'all care about us sit and soak this in with y'all for a minute? Looks like redneck yeah. snow. <laughs> Bro, oh, it doesn't that's ever awesome. snow down there for them. Uh, I don't know. Is that no, Tennessee? No. Up in the, the high country? Ooh. No snow. I don't know nothing about well, it. Maybe. If, I don't I, know. Where's, I'm trying to think mountain ranges and shit. I don't know how it all works. Even though I drove, I drove around the mountains. Man, mountains are fun. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, we better go with that. That was, that was fun. Yeah. Uh, if this was just a big mess, we're sorry, but we just decided to let loose and relax in the morning on the back of the bus and have some fun because uh, it can't always be uptight. And like I'm saying, uh, I'm just kind of celebrating because, woohoo! Um, I watch people celebrate. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not proud of this, and I'll work on it tomorrow, but I watch people dance and celebrate taking down history for a year straight so to to see a shot go to the to the world global elite today <laughs> that's as cool as listening to up church in the morning to be honest yeah. talking about that and listening to up church kind of might be one of the high points of my whole channel existing oh, yeah. i'm sure cuz now it, it sits here and at least i admitted that I watched that. Then I watched the tractor knock the rest of it down. And I sort of enjoyed that, too. Anything, babes? No. All right, we'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye.